So in the last video, I went over product entry, and in this video, now that we know how to enter products, I'd like to go over product organization and your navigational structure within the ASP.NET storefront. So last time we added a manufacturer, and this time I want to go ahead and add a couple more uh, categories and departments and talk about how we can set up structure. So I'm going to go to the back end of the website. Now, what I want to do here is create a new category. There are none, so I'm going to click on Manage Categories and hit the Add Category link. So I'm going to set up a T-shirts category, and we'll leave it as a parent level category. This is where you build your hierarchy. And Entity Grid is good for the XML package, so we'll just hit Add New. So back on the front end of the website, if you refresh the page, you'll see the new category I just added, and it's empty. So let's see what we can do about that. The way to add a subcategory is to click on the Add Category link underneath uh, the category you'd like it in. So here I can click on Add Category. And you can see what that did was it selected t-shirts as the parent category. And I'm going to go ahead and put men's for the subcategory. Actually, e-skateboarding. Save men's for our departments. And just to take a look at what that does, uh, we'll jump back out to the front end and you can see that uh, skateboarding appears underneath t-shirts. And you can also see it here as a subcategory. And you can click into the skateboarding subcategory from there. So uh, departments is, is another entity type within storefront. Um, manufacturers, departments, and categories are all different types of entities and they're all just different ways of organizing your products. Uh, they behave very similarly. In fact, departments and categories are exactly the same. And sometimes you'll see the word section in place of departments and just know that those two are, are synonymous. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new section. And this time I will call it men's and we'll make that a root level section or department. Hit add new. And I'll add another one. I think you see where this is going. And we'll add that as well. So now we've got a navigational structure built up for our website. It's pretty basic, but we've got one. And you can see uh, by default the way this navigation behaves. If you're in t-shirts, you'll see the subcategories. If I go back to the home page, all you see is the top level. So once you get into t-shirts is when you begin to see the subcategories. And if I take a look at my men's department, it's empty as well. So let's fill these categories and departments up with some products and start to build build our navigation. So I've got underneath manufacturers the product we added in the first video. Pocket Monster t-shirt. And I think what I'd like to show you is a quick way of duplicating products once you've got them set up. So I have this t-shirt product uh, and all the settings are the way I want them. I just want to add some more and then just change the names. So the quickest way to do that is to use the clone functionality in ASP.NET Storefront. So if you click on the Products tab underneath the manufacturer, in this case, that you want, you'll see this clone link on the right-hand side. And just hit OK. 
and it'll go ahead and clone that product for you. So I'm going to go ahead and do that a few times just so we've got a few products here to play with. And you can see it's adding icon images. Those are just the demo images that come with the site. You can change those, obviously. Okay, so there's five products to work with. So let's move these products around a little bit. First of all, Pocket Monster. This is going to be a men's skateboarding shirt. So uh, the way to organize this product is to go over to the Mappings tab from the product screen. So from here I can see that I want to put this into t-shirts and I want it in the skateboarding subcategory. And I also want it in the men's department, so I'll check that and hit update. And now back out on the front end of the site, if I refresh the men's section that we're in or department that we're in, I'll see the Pocket Monster t-shirt appear. And you can see there's nothing mapped to women's yet. And if I go to t-shirts, you don't see the t-shirt here, but you do see the skateboarding subcategory. And if I click into that, there's the other place I mapped it to. So that is the basics of organizing your products within ASP.NET Storefront.